Hey everyone, welcome to the very next episode of Hui Fishing. Today I am doing a challenge. Someone challenged me to a competition, a one versus one challenge. And you guys got to guess who it is. Actually, you don't have to guess. I'm just going to tell you who it is. It's G Bus Outdoors. Say hi. <laughs> yeah, we are going to do a one v one challenge. It's going to be kind of a quantity game, one point per fish. If it's over 20 inches, that's two points total. It's going to be a artificial artificial only and uh, debarbed right artificial and debarbed only so stick around hopefully we catch some uh, some nice fish here we're gonna do it's gonna be a walleye challenge so pike uh, pike <laughs> three points okay <laughs> so walleye challenge but uh yeah pike sounds more like a pike challenge at that point if, it, if pike is worth more than a walleye <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, so yeah, let's get to it. Okay guys, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm going to be throwing today because it is artificial baits only uh, in my uh, 1v1 derby. <laughs> 1v1 uh, competition so the first thing is going to be a uh, paddle tail uh, swim bait and that is uh, from egg zone lures okay and next one is going to be one of the len thompson uh, lures and this one is what the special edition uh, fishing for food banks one and the next one is going to be the drop shot rig. I already have it pre-rigged. This is going to be, uh, well, hopefully it'll be pretty good. Also from egg zone lures. Last thing, uh, I'm probably going to be throwing this one first. Which is the live target lipless crank makes a bunch of noise so hopefully uh hopefully this is going to be the uh the breadwinner here <laughs> awesome so i'm starting off in this challenge with a drop shot we're just going to oh a drop shot more of a finesse approach here today Sharpshooting fish since I got the sonar. I got I'm one up on uh, you here. So I got the sonar. I can see when they come in, and uh, we can move around, and I can track some spots that I've marked previously, and head over there. Hopefully, we can have a good, fun, competitive day here. May the best man win. <laughs> yeah, best man win here today. <laughs> no, just a friendly, friendly competition. <laughs> well, that's what it is. Yeah. Let's see if I can bang one off in the first two minutes. There we oh! Go. <laughs> oh! There we go. <laughs> first fish on of the day. Oh, look at that. Nice job. Z-Man for the win, guys. Keep him in the water quickly. So I got roughly on this one 18 inch fish, so one point. One point guys. <laughs> Let me pull them out, give you guys a quick show. See you right there, one point. Healthy. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> 
This time of year, these walleye are really keying in on the bigger baits, fall time presentation. Uh, they're really putting on like the feed bag. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, he got off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's uh, one point for me. <laughs> one point for me on the drop shot here. Oh, this one, they got some to Okay, let's get him back in the water. Nice for little guy here. <laughs> Wow, holy cow. Oh, there we go. That's number two for me. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Can't lose them. <sighs> hey, I just need one 20 incher and I'll catch up. <laughs> Yeah, or one pike. Okay. This is number two. Whoop. We're going to toss him back in the water here. Away he goes. Next fish. Put him on my counter because I am bad at remembering. Yeah, I got a little tap here and there, but. Ah. <laughs> oh! Oh, double, oh, double header! I gotta net him quick before I lose him. <laughs> oh, this is my chance to catch up. You lost it. <laughs> so number three on the board. And he unhooked himself in my net. Oh, right there. Let's put him back in the water. Oh, on my next fish. <laughs> I'm on. Don't lose it. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this guy, this guy, is, this guy's pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah, right on there. Pretty close. All right. Let's get him unhooked. Let's get him back in the water here. Okay. Nope, just 19. 19, so I got a 19 incher. Not too bad. I was uh, caught on that same drop shot, and he's good to go back in the water. <laughs> so, right there, that was my fourth, fourth fish. 
is a slower start for me here, but uh, maybe I'll catch up. What do you mean? I don't have to catch up. I'm already ahead. <laughs> Just a little guy. Let's put this bad boy on my counter. Four. Four total. Yeah. See what they're doing. Oh, look at you! <laughs> look at you! Oh, that's a good one. Are you recording? On one camera. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I would say this one's 18 and a half. Think so? I think so, yeah. Okay, nice little walleye. You know, you got G Bus Outdoors talking about walleye colors. And here I am. I'm uh, colorblind, so. <laughs> it's a nice golden color. Yeah, nice and gold is what he says. <laughs> Next one for the counter. Sorry? Oh, I'm at I'm at five. <laughs> Jesus. It's on you right now? Ah come on. Oh, doesn't count. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> It's pretty, uh, pretty darn close race, I would say. <laughs> Anything's possible. You barbed hook comes out easy. Nice little guy. Beautiful fish. He's good to go. <laughs> All right. On with the next one. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then my other one has a. As soon as I dropped her. That, that looks like it's pretty good fish. <laughs> could be. Oh, could be. <laughs> That's a nice walleye. Oh. <laughs> it's good to go. Really interesting mark on that dorsal. <laughs> How about this? We race all the way back. Winner gets 15 points. <laughs> 15 points. 15 points. <laughs> oh my god, you can go what? What is it? 
is that? You can get like five miles an hour? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's pretty quick though. Five miles an hour? <laughs> I, might, I might get four? Two? <laughs> I can row this at two? <laughs> Will I get a 10 minute head start? <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll be done loading up by then <laughs> into your truck. No, probably not. I still gotta strip down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look how dirty this, this water is here. It's cleaner out there. Yeah. I think that was an awesome day. <laughs> Alright guys, finished my day with G-Bus Outdoors. It was an awesome day I would say. Caught quite a few fish. Now who caught the most fish is the question. I don't know, did we did we actually agree on that 15 points on wave? Oh, did you did you beat me back? Cause I was right beside you. <laughs> yeah. oh. Well, you know, we didn't Agree on yeah. the 15 points. Yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna give you a 10 fish handicap. <laughs> 10 fish handicap. So that means he got 10 extra points just for coming out fishing with me. <laughs> I appreciate awesome. that. I appreciate that. So we're gonna have this video. Oh well, you're gonna see it posted up, and uh, we're gonna, probably gonna post it up in near the same time or same time. Probably around yeah. the same time. Yeah. Yeah, around the same time. And uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you to G-Bus Outdoors for accommodating me, inviting me out. I uh, always love to fish with uh, other anglers, learn some new tips and tricks. And uh, yeah, he actually, uh, he actually showed me some uh, pretty cool baits that uh, actually worked and uh, methods that you'd use for bass fishing uh, for, uh, for walleye and it actually produced. Uh, there was guys that were using live minnows, or actually not live oh, minnows, yeah, frozen but bait. frozen bait, just minnows. Uh, and uh, they weren't catching anything. <laughs> and his method, just using a drop shot, uh, soft stick bait, worked worked great. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> that was the ticket today. It's changing them up to colors, because if they have a tendency to see the same color, same profile a lot, if you switch to a little bit of a fatter bait or a skinnier bait, is sometimes it also helps trigger those strikes right away if you notice you got fish on the ground. That's right. Every single time he changed his bait, his presentation, just a slight bit, from a worm to a, a different type of drop shot plastic, different color, just a slightest change. As soon as he dropped it down, he had a fish immediately. So yeah, it uh, it uh, just kind of shows. It shows that uh, you know you know you gotta try different things and uh, change it up. Yeah, mix it up and let them see a different presentation. They, if, if you've already dropped it down there and it's been down there for 15, 20 minutes, they're probably sick of looking at it. <laughs> so yeah, if, as soon as you change it up, they might strike immediately. But that is the end of the video. Now, if you like what you see, don't forget to go to G-Bus Outdoors. Please guys, check it out. Give him a like and a subscribe. Check out his side of the video and see who actually caught the most fish. <laughs> see you guys later. Have a good one. Yeah, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>